Right now, we are in the center of Solidor, and as you can see, uh, this is a grave. This is where someone died here in this courtyard of this civilian area, and the, their neighbors buried them here because during these heavy fighting times, there's no possibility to remove the body in a more respectful way than uh, just this. We saw this in Mariupol, Volnavaha, and many other areas throughout the last year. This is something that's very common in these heavy fighting areas. So we wish the best for whoever lays here and their family. And uh, we can see the, the uh, miner's helmet next to it. So maybe this was a, uh, a miner who died here because in Denbaz is a very heavy miner community and specifically here in Solidor uh, there's it's known for salt mines other areas in Denbaz are coal mines but here it's salt mines so we're just gonna keep uh, having a look to see what the situation is here when I left my home and my family my mother said to me son kill all the nazis that you can and set your people free so i packed my bags and i brushed my cap and i walked out into the world 17 years old now for Train to Voronezh. That was as far as it would go. I exchanged my clothes for a uniform, bit my lip against the snow. I prayed for our mother Russia in the summer of 43. And as we drove the Nazis back, I really believed God was listening. The war was over. My discharge papers came. Me and 60,000 others went to Stettiner for the train. Direct 
I used to love my country. I used to be so young. I used to believe my life was the best song ever sung. I would have died for my country back in 1945. But now only one thing remains. Thank you. Thank you.